Hey everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. Today I am super excited because we are taking a look at the new Barbie Signature Looks dolls. Okay, just look at these dolls. I am so excited about them. Especially this one in the middle. I personally loved the first wave of these Barbie Looks dolls, so I'm so excited that they came out with Wave 2. These three dolls all look gorgeous, and I can't wait to take a closer look. Like the first wave, the boxes are pretty simple. On the front, it's just a piece of clear plastic and says Barbie Signature Looks on the bottom. On one side of the box, it says Looks. On the other side, it says the model number. And on the back, we can see all three dolls together. Okay, okay, enough of me rambling on. Let's get these dolls out from the packaging. The dolls come with stands that are super simple to assemble. And also a certificate of authenticity. Here are the dolls out from the packaging and let's take a look at them one at a time here. This first girl looks so awesome, but right away I noticed that her face has some marks on it. She has this little like white dot here that doesn't want to come off and some little black specks on her face, which is really unfortunate, but I'm going to see if I can remove them. I have 100% pure acetone and a Q-tip. And I'm just gonna see if I rub at that mark if that'll come off. Oh, literally. Okay, one down, a couple more to go. This black one doesn't seem like it wants to go away. Okay, so for some reason these little black spat <laughs> So for some reason these little black spots don't really want to go away. But that one white one by her eye went away super easily. It was probably just some little thing from when they printed her face. Um, it's definitely a little unfortunate. I'm all good with like little imperfections, but it kind of looks a little bit like it's not supposed to be there. Um, but I can live with it. I'm not that mad about it. Let's just move on with the review. So this girl's face is so beautiful. This is like an awesome face mold and I really just love it. I love her lips, her eyeshadow, her eyes, everything in general. I just think it's so cool. Lots of the time I don't like a lot of makeup on dolls, but her purple and blue eyeshadow actually just suit her so well along with her lips. And I'm loving this super platinum blonde pixie cut she has. She has the original made to move Barbie body type and she's wearing this black crop top that does Velcro in the back. And this silver ruched skirt that is super metallic and also Velcros in the back. The only complaint I have about the outfit is that the skirt does not have very much stretch at all. Like her legs literally can't move out any further than that. Like even back and forth, they can barely move back and forth. Literally, like I don't want to break her legs, but like, so that's a little unfortunate. But other than that, I do really love the outfit. And she has these black heels. I actually like that little cut design they did on the side there. That's kind of unique. Next, we're gonna take a look at the Ken doll from this wave. I'm also noticing one little thing on his face. He has this little thing sticking out of his eyebrow and I don't think that's supposed to be there. I'm not sure what that's about, but I can't get that off. So we're gonna try the acetone method on that. Oh, that worked. <laughs> Perfect. This Ken doll also has a very unique face mold. I don't think I've ever seen this face mold before. I mean, oops, there might be this face mold out there already. I've just never seen it myself and I really, really like it. He has long black hair. I don't have any Ken dolls with long hair, so that's really cool. And it does pull back into a little like ponytail in the back. I definitely think it suits him and I really like it. His outfit is actually very similar to the last dolls. He has a black tank top. It's actually a pretty thin, nice material. And I'm actually noticing here that it looks like they put on this like sticky double-sided tape to keep it in place. So I'm just gonna get rid of that, peel that off. Oh, that's like really on there. 
Okay, back to his outfit. So he has the nice black tank top and there's no Velcro in the back, which I actually really like. And he has these very metallic pants, the same kind of fabric as the last doll's skirt. And they do Velcro in the back. And lastly, he has these boots. These are really fun. Like, I don't know what it is, but there's just like so much detail in this. Like there's the heel and you can literally see the tongue of the, sh of the boot. Like it's like separate. I feel like it's like really detailed and these, I actually just, I love these boots. And now for the doll I'm most excited about. Okay, just look at her. She is amazing. Unlike the other dolls, she luckily has no imperfections on her face and her face is just beautiful in general. Oh no. Okay, never mind. Oh no. If you take a look at the lips, you can see that there's a little part of the upper lip that's taken out. I have no idea why that's there. That's super annoying. And you can actually see that the lips were printed a little bit off. I can probably fix that later, but it's definitely just a little bit disappointing. Her eyeshadow though is beautiful. She has some eyeshadow kind of matching the color of her hair and then also some nice blue as well. And she has these little pieces of hair outlining all the way around her hairline, which is so awesome. Like, I love that a lot. <laughs> I also looked back at footage and I didn't accidentally do this with like acetone or anything. I looked back and it was like this in the box. Definitely a little disappointed about that, but we're gonna move on to more positive note, the hair. I love this doll's hair, like literally love. She has this high side ponytail. It's this nice like, um, maroon purpley color like there's purple streaks in there along with like kind of like a maroon it has these nice curls to it which i hope never like fade away like i really love the curls and i'm definitely not going to take her hair out because i just love it like this moving on to her outfit it is definitely much different than the other two dolls and also much better in my opinion it's super sparkly just full-on glitter which i love it's two pieces. There's this little top and skirt. The top is strapless. However, there are these like little clear straps. It is supposed to look like kind of like a strapless effect though. And that does Velcro in the back along with the skirt as well. And her boots do not disappoint either. Like they are so cool. They're this nice silver color to kind of go with her outfit. And just like these like cuts all the way down the sides. I actually love all the shoes from the dolls in this wave. I also do want to mention she is a petite made-to-move Barbie doll, which I love. I really love the petite dolls for, like, no specific reason, but I think it also just really suits her as well. And she's definitely my favorite. <laughs> I'm really happy with all of these dolls, and I might even like them better than the first wave. Don't quote me on that, but I do really love this wave. They are also priced each at 20 US dollars, which is such a reasonable price for such amazing quality dolls and i will leave the link in the description from where i purchased these dolls if you want to purchase them yourselves i'm curious to know what you guys think of the second wave of the barbie signature looks dolls i love them and let me know which doll is your favorite you guys already know which one's mine and i hope they come out with a third wave because i'll be sure to buy every single one before we end today's video, the shoutouts for today go to Selena Penn, Danny V, and Shining Stars Official. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel. And remember, if you intend to getting a shoutout, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and comment down below with the hashtag DDSquad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shoutout in the next video. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my mini Delightful Dolls merch linked in the description. And I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye.